because of those people. Ak Krishna saubrups Adamianta odhit itis shesachet. These are the four classes of people who never surrender to him, who never accept what he says in the Bhagavad Gita. Es is class in Kafa of Adamian epis romlebit arasotes armiendovian Krishna stogmelepsats arasotes arsherat itisa rasartsqa Bhagavad Gita gweubneba. But most people, if we speak, you know, uh, nicely about the Bhagavad Gita, you explain to them the Bhagavad Gita, they will at least listen, they will try to understand. But these are three classes of people that they are just against it. And so there are four classes, those Kritina. Uh, those Kritina means miscreants. Uh, that's the translation. You see on the word for word in Georgian, you should see what is the word. Uh-huh. Uh, so, so this is the, the four classes of people who never surrender unto Krishna. So, Muda is the first one. And so, four, four classes. That is the, the Duskritina, that is the Muda. Muda means someone who is very foolish. Person who is really, you know, just these people who just like to drink and, you know, they're, they're just completely not uh, interested in, in, in understanding anything. Uh, uh, some very degraded person. Those Kritina means someone who is very dishonest. Prabhupada trans sometimes translates those Kritina as rascal. Someone who is really dishonest, you can imagine some, you know, corrupt politician or something like that. And then you have the Naradama. Naradama is someone who has knowledge. Like some someone who studies, who goes to university. So, so he's different from the Muda. The Muda is just someone who is really completely like uh, unintelligent. The Narada Ma is the opposite. He is intelligent, but he's atheist. Right, so he, 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 he has some bias, we can say. Yeah, so, and then you have the Maya Pahita Gyana. That those whose knowledge is stolen by illusion. He studies, he studies, he studies, but comes to the wrong conclusion. And, and so these persons are, these four classes of Krishna, uh, Nations here, they are called Ashuram Bhavan. Uh, people that partake, that share 
this atheistic nature of the demons. Nowadays, when we speak about demo, we imagine you know, someone with you no know, two horns and and tail and <laughs> that is red or something like that. Am şam a prodesat demo nevso vaxenep tarvobitkeni avigat sarkiani titeli ragatseseti sashinebeba. But the the Sanskrit word is ashuram. Man kam Sanskrit uli sitwa amat asura. Demo is just like a translation for this word. Demoni amsit is pargamans tsarmo adgens. Ashura means one who doesn't believe in God, doesn't want to follow the laws of God. Asura inishnams mas vins visats ars jera gmertis, visats ars urs gmertis kanonebis miderna. There is the shura, that is the devotee. And the Ashura, that is the atheist. The Ashura, anu atheist. And it's translated between the vote and demon. But anyway, the original word is Shura and Ashura. The Targmani iari ma se dat vot anili robots demoni da erdkoli tuza sat sisi trobi ari Shura da Ashura. Right, and the universe is divided between these two classes of beings. Right, everyone, everybody uh, hears about Ganesha, about Indra, right? About Brahma. Right, everybody knows, right? Who knows? Everybody knows, right? So this is the Shura. These are the devotees. They are also called Devas or Demigods. So these are the beings who follow the laws of God and they become the managers of the universe. Es is arsebe vika hlavan, rovlevic mi webian, hvertis kanonepsta, fakti urat, sam arus managements, management italian takavebulevi. They cooperate with God, you know, in taking care of the universe and maintaining everything. Isinim sam arus martvis, martvis kanonobashi, slegobisas, tanam shromoglev no paltan. So we have sun, we have, you know, water, we have wind, we have everything. And then we have the demons. The demons, they just want to exploit nature. Right? Nowadays, this mentality is very common, right? We are literally destroying the planet, right? We are polluting everything, cutting down on the trees. Because most people nowadays they are more synchronized with the frequency of the Ashuras. Right, we have the Shuras, the Asuras, and we human beings are in the middle. Right, in the Veda it is described that we have the upper planets, the lower planets, and our planet is in the middle, it's one of the intermediate planets. Right, so it's like, you know, there are these two frequencies and we are like a radio. We can synchronize in each of these two frequencies. 
So, you know, during the week, you know, in your studies, in your work, we have so much, right, contact with this lower frequency of just enjoying life and just, you know, just exploiting nature. But then, you know, Sunday at least, you know, we come to the temple and we get contact with the high frequency. Right, the chant Hare Krishna we hear from the Bhagavad Gita. And this can make all the difference for us. Right, we need to read the Bhagavad Gita. So, okay, so let's see the poor part by Srila Prabhupada. Yeah, so maybe I can just read in English and they can give some Bhagavad Gita in Georgian for the ones who speak Georgian to follow there so we don't need to repeat everything otherwise this book part is quite long. I will make, I will ask. Because they have the Bhagavad Gita right there in the BBT room, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it can be done. Yes, uh, uh, Apoji, we will have to wait a couple of minutes until they bring them. The books. Okay, I will read the first uh, paragraph and I will be talking on it for some time and then in the meantime they bring and they read and we continue from there, okay? Yeah, so, first paragraph is, uh, it is said in Bhagavad Gita that simply by surrendering oneself unto the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality, Krishna, one can surmount, right, it can surpass the extringent, like the rigid, strong laws of material nature. Right, just by surrender unto Krishna, we can uh, we can get over these you know strong laws of the material world. Bhagavad Gita shinat kwami arom ubralo tuzena esi pirona bis Krishna slot osist erpet bis adbi mindo bi tsotsal arsebab smat erialo ribuna bis kasik ano ne bis tazdeva sheutliya ano ubralo taia. I am a window of this process, uh, the Sashwa Rebus was left from doubts of you to cast the canon of the material of one of the means by surrendering to Krishna, we can go back to Godhead, we can become free from this world. Pakdurat Krishna, the no Hamertis at the window of his mesh will be checked with Lea Mast and Dabrune, but I am material Uri, the judge of his tongue, Gantavi Sukleba. Easy to understand. But then, at this point, a question arises. How is that educated philo philosopher, scientist, businessman, administrator, and now the leaders of ordinary men do not surrender to the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the all-powerful personality of Godhead? So this question may come. You know, why, you know, if, if it's so obvious, why all these important people don't surrender to Krishna? Right. 
და განსწავლული მაქვს არ მიენდობა. ეს გორკვას რო, რა? კარგი შეგიტყვა, რა? სომდეი დუ. ზოგიერთი მათგანი ენდობა. Some many important famous intelligent people in the world they become devotees of Krishna. Arsebopen es egi msoplios mashtabit liderebi zalian dansavuli adamianebi romdebi Krishna sertkulebi gaqvavan. But not all of them, right? Magram ara qvela matkan. So the question is why? Tak itkhva ibadeba rato. So Prabhupada is a continuous that mukti or liberation from the laws of material nature is sought like is looked for by the leaders of mankind in different ways and with great plans and perseverance for a great for a great many years and births means you know every uh, many people they look for liberation they want to be saved right from this material world they get out they want to get out of here Prabhupada Ganavsovs ganvartebas atskhobiriobis liderebis bravavi slisa da დაბადების მანძილზე ათასგვარი გზით გრანდიოზული გეგმებითა და დაჟინებით ეძებენ მუქთის ანუ მატერიალური ბუნების კანონებისაგან განთავისუფლებას. მართაც აგრია, ყველას სურს, რომ განთავისუფლდეს ამ მატერიალური ბუნების ბუნების წნეხისგან. But if that liberation is possible by simply surrender unto the lotus feet of the supreme personality of Godhead, now if it's so easy then why don't these intelligent and hard work leaders adopt the simple, simple method right if it's so easy why they don't do it magram tukli gantavisuklebis mihtela ubralo dvertebis uzenaset pirovnebis lotosis terpebisadi mindobit ari shesazlebeli anu amdenad martiria rato marxebuloben am ubralo metodze es gonieri da maashuravi liderebi that's a good question right <laughs> and then propada so this is the first paragraph right yes it could be the first paragraph so propada yes. makes this point no one could ask this question it's a very good question sta propada ak mikvanishnevs imaze rom ai am da gvari kitkhvis dasma savsebis chesazlebelia zalian kargi kitkhva es if it so is it should think moksha salvation nirvana why don't everyone don't do it თუ ამდენად მარტივია მოქშას ანუ განთავისუფლების და ნირვანას მიღწევა მაშინ რა რომ არ მიმართავს ამ გზას ყველა ემ პროფადა ენსუის მეექს პარაგრაფ და სეკონდ პარაგრაფ და ამაზე პროფადა მეორე მე შემდგომ პარაგრაფში გვაძლევს პასუხს სო პროფადა სეიტ დე გიტა ენსუის დის კვესჩონ ვერი ფრენკლი ვერი დაირექტი პროფადა გეუბნება რომ გიტა ამ კითხვაზე უაღრესად გულახდილ პასუხს გვაძლევს. Right those really learned leaders of society the ones who are the leaders who are really great like Brahma Shiva Kapila the Kumaras Manu Vyasa Devala Sita Janaka Pralada Bali and la in later on Madhavacharya Ramanujacharya Sri Chaitanya and others so there is a very big list of great personalities of you know, the history of the world და თუმცა არსებობენ აიბა ლიდერთა ძალიან დიდი რაოდენობა არსებობს მათ შორის აი ეს თელი სახელები რაც ჩამოთვალა ბრაფუმ ბრაჰმას თეთი დაწებული რომლებიც პასუხობენ ამ მოთხოვებს who are faithful philosophers politician educators scientists etc surrender to the lotus feet of the supreme person the all powerful personality that a much shorter is as egi gastavuli philosophosebi politikosebi da sva specialistebi romlebi mindobili arian uplis uzenes tertebs right so probably makes this point very interesting the ones who are really great they accept it trap patalian kargrames migwanishnevs Like, for example, who are the two greatest heroes of history of India? Of history of which country? Of India. India. Ano magalit istis mo yung ano? Is ori udidesi kamiri Indo etis history itan. Who can tell? Bin ba shagit liat ma is magalit bobo sa to. 
One is Hanuman, the other is Arjuna. Ethesi gaflat Hanuman ite mi ori Arjuna. Right, these are the two greatest heroes. Ori utesi kniri. And these are two Vaishnavas. Ta ori zemat kani Vaishnavi ya. Right. So I think the greatest ones they accept Krishna actually. Aserari anu ivam kisepsi masromu. And then Prabhupada continues that those who are not actually philosophers, scientists, educators, administrators, etc., but who pose themselves as such for material gain, do not accept the path, the plan or path of the Supreme Lord. Right, so you see, the ones who are, who are not so great, who are just there for money, for, you know, power, for prestige, these ones they don't accept. Those who are there in high positions but are not really qualified for it. And Prabhupada says here that they have no idea of God. They simply manufacture their own worldly plans and consequently complicate the problems of material existence in their vain attempts to solve them. Because material energy, nature, is so powerful, it can resist the unauthorized plans of the atheists and baffle the knowledge of planning com commissions. So you see, they, they, because they don't accept God, they try to solve the material problems using their intelligence. Mm but they don't, but they can't really solve this problem. Prabhu are turning to close the So, but they can't really solve the problems of the world. Right, uh, we see nowadays, you know, the technology, technology advances, the production increases, but you know, people are not becoming happier. If anything, you know, that life is becoming harder for most, for most people. Right, people need to work more, they have more debt, they have more anxiety. You know, because life is just harder for them. And that's something that the Vedas explain. The world is governed by superior forces. We can't violate the laws of nature. Or we can try, of course, but the result is will not be good. We may improve something, but you know, something else will break. And the result, the end result will be more difficult, actually. Yeah, so, uh, okay, now I'm going to the third paragraph, okay, if you are following in the book. 
تو میخوایید تی میخوایید تی سخت با مسافه پاراگرافی کاتاوتی وار. So in this third paragraph it starts with the eighties plant makers are described here by the word duskripina or miskrin. So Prabhupada is explaining here the first category miskrin. And so Kriti means one who has performed meritorious work, no, someone who did something good. Kriti is not as much as a Sakhebi Shroma, a Kazeuli. So the 80s, 80s plan maker is sometimes very intelligent and meritorious also, because any gigantic plan, good or bad, must take intelligence to execute. But because the atheist's brain is improperly utilized in opposing the plan of the Supreme Lord, the atheist plan maker is called Duskriti, which indicates that his intelligence and efforts are misdirected. Uh, and instead of improving things though, they make things worse. Right, they just create some new product that no one wants, but they do some clever, you know, uh, marketing to put this product in the market. But you know, the quality is not good or it doesn't really work. So they make some money, but they don't improve anyone's life with that. Or sometimes the product may be good, but the, it doesn't make, it just makes people more materialistic. They just help them to forget about Krishna and about spiritual life. Yeah, so this is also not good. Right? The idea is to give something that really helps people. Okay, are you still with me? Are you still following me? <laughs> yes, I think. Okay. Okay. okay, so let's go to the next paragraph. This is the fourth paragraph. So, the Gita is clearly mentioned that, you know, in the Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, is clearly mentioned that material energy works fully, completely, under the direction of the Supreme Lord, right? Krishna is controlling. It has no independent authority. It works as the shadow moves in accordance with the movement of the object. But still, material energy is very powerful, and the atheist, due to his godless tem temperament, cannot know how it works, nor can he know the plan of the Supreme Lord. And the illusion and the modes of passion and ignorance, how his plans are baffled, as in the case of Hiranyakashipu and Ravana, whose plans were smashed to dust Although they were both materially learned as scientists, philosophers, administrators, and educators, these duskritinas or miscreants are of four different patterns, as outlined below. So, uh, Prabhupada explains, you know, that 
people who don't study this knowledge from the Vedas, who don't at least try to follow this knowledge, they try to improve life, but they don't really know how the world works. Shentum Kava Parapada Ganatso, Skita Shikargo Vitalis, Arsnili, or Materia Ludi Energia, Triana to the Nice U Christians on a low bit mockmeters, and Krishna control of Swellapus. Mas Tamok in the Belis along Kleba Argachnia, Ikimok with a Sisever of search daily was robbed of Yetis, was robbed his Tanahmat, Magra Materia Ludi Energia, minds with a Zviria, the Tavisi, Umerto Biscamo, at least Maritz is over Mokmedepsi. and so I was saying that they, they try to improve things, but because they don't understand how the world works, they actually just create problems. They start from the wrong idea, from the wrong premise. They think that the material energy, that, that nature, is just there and that's just a thing that we can exploit as much as we want. But they don't understand that there are superior forces controlling it. There is already an owner. Just like, you know, you wake up in the morning, right? You get out of your house, you go to the street. And there's some beautiful car in front of your house. Park it there, you know, some BMW or some Mercedes or Ferrari, whatever. You can imagine whatever you want. <laughs> Mercedes, Ferrari, and then so oh, nice, you know, a car appears here. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, Probably doesn't have an owner. I'll take it for myself. And then you know, you break the window or something and try to, to take the car. <laughs> You see, because it starts from the wrong premise that, you know, this car, you think that this car doesn't have an owner and you just try to take it, you just create problems for yourself, right? Especially in Georgia, right? The police is very serious in Georgia. <laughs> Right, because you don't understand you know, how things work, and you create problems for yourself. So they said, and that's the problem that we have nowadays. We don't really understand how the world works. We just try to exploit the resources of nature, and we just create problems for ourselves. Sustatai, 
ცდილობთ უბრალოთ ჩვენი გამორჩედისთვის ვის ექსპლუატაციას და ამგვარად ხოლოთ პრობლემებს ვიქნით. One can be very comfortable in these words, no problem. You just have to need to understand how the world works and follow the rules. შესაძლებელია ამ სამყაროში ძალიან კომფორტულად იცხოვრო. უბრალოდ უნდა გაერკვე, რა კანონებს მიყვება ეს სამყარო და შენს და იცვა ის. Okay, so now Prabhupada will explain the four classes here. და აიაქ უკვე პრაფუპადა შემდგომ იწყებს ამ ოთხი კლასის ახსნას. Do you have any questions up to here or comments? იქნე პრაიმე კითხვა ან რაღაცა მოსაზრების გაძიარებად მოგინდა და ამასობაში. შეგიძლიათ დასვათ და მოგერიოთ. Unfortunately we are not in a face to face directly we are through the screen but it's almost the same nowadays right. სამზოხაროთ პირისპირვერ ხოლოდებით ერთმანეთს ეკრანიდან უყურებს მაგრამ დღეს დღეისობით ეს გარკვეულ რეალობასაც გადაიქცა. დავიწყოთ პირველი კლასით რომელსაც მუთხები ეწოდება so do you have the books in georgian already გაქვთ იქვე უკვე იქ წიგნები ქართულ ენაზე ზოგიერთ რომ ვინც უსმენს მაგართვისაც იყოს გასაგებია რა დგან ჩვენზე რა არ და ლაივი არ მაგალითია ვირი პატრონი მეტად მძიმე ამ მძიმე დამუშავებს ამ მორჩილ ცხოველს. ვირმა არ იცის დღე და ღამის ვისთვის შრომობს. მაყოფილია თუ კი კუჭს ბალახით ამოივსებს, ცოტას ჩაიძინებს, იმის შიშით პატრონმა არსებოს და დაი ვაყოფილებს ქესობრივ სურვილიც ამ იმ რისკით რომ დედალმა შეიძლება ჩაწიფოს. ზოგჯერ ვირი 
So here Prabhupada is explaining about the first category that never surrenders to Krishna. He explains about the Mudas. And to explain what a Muda is, he gives this analogy, he makes this analogy with the donkey. The ass or the donkey. So the donkey you know, is an animal that works very hard, you know, the donkey is very hard working. So he's always busy, he's always working. But he works, 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 but he doesn't make, you know, he doesn't get anything out of his work. The owner makes a lot of money, but the poor donkey, you know, he just gets enough to eat and place to sleep and that's all. And when he goes to the you know, female donkey, you know, to try to get some company, you know, the female donkey, you know, kick him in the face, poor donkey. And sometimes the donkey starts to speak some philosophy, you know, says that he oh, he oh, he oh, but nobody appreciates that. <laughs> and because he's you know, so busy, you know, working so hard, he doesn't have time to hear about Krishna. Right, so these are, you know, most people nowadays, right? They get some job, you know, they're working there, they make, you know, just sufficient to leave, you know. And someone is making a lot of money out of their work, but they themselves are not making much. Mm -hmm. 
They walk so much, they're so tired, they become sick, you know, they can't sleep at night. But they don't have, but they are too busy, right? They don't have time to start and hear about Krishna. They can they don't really have time to solve their own, their, their real problems. And in this way, they just continue suffering. They understand that they are suffering, but they don't seek a solution out of this. And their life just go, go, time passes, and eventually they become old, they die, and they didn't really, you know, got anything out of their lives. And so, you know, that's not a good example, right? We shouldn't be like this. Okay, and then the next four paragraphs explain about the second class, the Duskriti or the Narendama. And then I will explain. Ասետ իչ եշմարիտի էվ գուլի 
ასეთია ჭეშმარიტი ერთგული სხედვა ფაებრივი მოძღვრის სახით მომლენილ ვაღმერთებს ეს ის ინკარნაციამ შრი ნიწიანა და პრაფუპადა გაათავისუფლა პრაფუმ გაათავისუფლა ტიპიური ნარათამები ძმები ჯაგაი და მათაი და გვინშვენა როგორც წყალუს ჭეშმარიტი ერთგული კაცთა შორის უნდაბლეს ამრიგად ნარათამამ რომელიც დაგმობილი აღმერთების პიროვნების მიერ კვლავ შეიძლება გამოიყვიდოს სულიერი ცხო ნარათამაში კვლავ შეიძლება გამოიყვიდოს სულიერი ცხოვრება ხოლოდ ერთგულის წყალო შე ჩაიტანია მახაპრაფო ბაგავად და თარმას ანუ ერთგულთა საქმიანობის ქადაგებისას ურჩია ხალხს მორჩილად ესმიდად საღმერთების პიროვნების ეპისტოლე ეს ეპისტოლე ამ ეპისტოლეს არსი ბაგავად გიტა ხოლოდ ასეთი მორჩილი მოსმენი ჩელება ადამიანთა შორის უნდაბლეს და განთავისუფლება მაგრამ საუბედუროდ ისინი უარს არ ამბობენ ამაზეც კი რომ მოსმენა დაუთმონ ამ ეპისტოლეებს სმენა დაუთმონ და რა ხომ უნდა ვთქვათ უზენაესი უფლის ნებისადმი მინდობაზე ნარათამები ანუ კაცთა შორის უნდაბლესი ვისრულად უგულვებელ ყოფენ ადამიანის უმაღლეს მოვალეობას სო Normally also not the meaning the lowest of mankind. And that a man is not a man that shows show his own dabbles. And normally when people think about the lowest uh, in amongst people they think about you know people who are poor or people who don't have you know good education. Da chole presa me pro rodesat un dabbles segi უნდაბლესებს ერთი კრობ ადამიანთა შორის წარმოგვიდგენი აქ ხოლმე ვიღაცა ვინც ძალიან ვა ეს არის რა ქვია ღარიბი ან არ გააჩნია საერთო თუ ვიცია არანაირი ცოდნა განათლება არ გააჩნია but the vedas they classifying a different way თუმცა ვედებში მათი კლასიფიცირება სულ სხვაგვარად ხდება the vedas classify who is high or low according to how spiritually evolved a person is ვედების მიხედვით ადამიანებს სიმაღლე თუ სიმძაფრე განისაზღვრება იმის მიხედვით თუ რამდენად განვითარებული არის იგი სულიერი თვალსაზრისით so a person may be you know you no know, have may have you no know, a good material education he may be he may have money he may have a good position in society ადამიანს შეიძლება ჰქონდეს ძალიან კარგი მატერიალური განათლება, ჰქონდეს ფული, გააჩნდეს კარგი თანამდებობა, კარგი ადგილი ეკავოს საზოგადოებაში. But if he is completely ignorant of his spiritual nature, if he is completely averse uh, to to God, then he is considered an Adam despite all of this. მაგრამ თუ მას საერთოდ არ გააჩნია ცოდნა სულიერი შესახებ თუ ის არ ცნობს ვერთის უზენაესობას ამგვარი ადამიანი მოიხსენება როგორც ნარათამა მიუხედავ თავისი გასწავლულობის so the vedas explain that there are 8,400,000 species of life ვედები გვიხსნიან რომ არსებობს 8,400,000 ტიპის სახეობის სიცოცხლე, ცოცხალი არსება. And so the soul in the body of a monkey or a dog is not different from the soul in the body of a human being. და სული სხვა ტიპის სხეულებში არაფერთან განსხვავება სულისგან, რომელიც ადამიანის სხეულში იყოფება. Is the same ზუსტად ისეთივეა. The soul passes through an evolutive cycle. სული გადის ევოლუციის ბრუს. So he goes through this millions of species and eventually the soul gets the body of a human being. და აი ეს სული გაივლის ამ მილიონობით სახეობას და შემდეგ ესე იგი so people think that happiness or success in life means to just you know enjoy their senses the maximum as possible ხშირად ადამიანები ფიქრობენ რომ წარმატება და ბედნიერება ცხოვრებაში ნიშნავს რომ რაც შეიძლება მეტად დაგკვე შედი გზნობითი აღქმები Even if they can eat well they can have you know a lot of sex they can you know drink they can enjoy they think they are successful in life 
Right, and different animals they can do, you know, different, they can have, you know, different types of sense enjoyment, much more than we can have. Right, they can sleep, they can eat more, they can sleep more, they can have, you know, better sexual life, they have everything better than us, actually. Um, um, what a human being can do that no animal can do is to realize his nature as a soul. Right? This is what what actually means success in human life. Yeah, so that's the point here. The he's trying to enjoy life, but he's just trying to be like the animals. He's just trying to enjoy his senses. And he may think that he's successful in life because of that, but actually, no. In this process of just trying to enjoy his senses, again, he wastes his life. I am process, so that's another example that we shouldn't follow. <laughs> okay, we still have time. There are two more classes here to read. Should I continue? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you read the next uh, one. Class is whatever. Yes, Maya, ya. Արդհաջնանահանուիսպիրոնեպեպիվիսիերուդիցիայիլուզորումի Hagavat kit as metsni ektashori satski, kit ashi nateli da ugralo elit nad kwam yarom shri krishna verte visuze nasi pironeba, arasebos aravin visitana sori an masse diadi. Idi igi moxenie budia brahmas, felik asopriu vis talda piroeli mamis mamad. Nad kwam yarom shri krishna aram polod brahmas mama, aramet sitsot slis oveli sacheopisat. Igi au pirono brahmani sada. Paramatmas <laughs> Utkhevuli <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the, the third class is the Maya Yapa Hrita Gyanam. 
But because he's biased, because he, he starts from the principle that there is no God, then they reach the wrong conclusions. <laughs> Well, for example, if you read this book from Darwin, well, he did a lot of research. He went to Galapagos, he, you know, he researched the birds there, he made a lot of observations. He understood that this, this principle that you know, living beings, the, the forms of the animals and other living beings changes according to the environment. So he did a lot of research, he worked very hard on his theory. But what is what was his conclusion? There is no God, life comes from chemicals. Life comes by chance. When an intelligent person did a lot of research, but the conclusion was wrong. Because uh, he started from no from this from this he started from the, the conclusion. He started from the idea that there is no God and tried to prove that. We don't have to do that. I am that's when it and I it's for man that's what I will see Kuleva. He can do for many other sepulchs. Still damp with Kulevi time it's a bless. And so that's another example to not follow. Because otherwise, you know, you work your whole life to create some theory, but it's just wrong. Yeah, so that's another category. Okay, now we are going to read the last category. The Anu <laughs> Arsebogan is a tevis, Roblevitz, Upirono, Nisha, Twiseba, Twiseba, the Akrem de Vareben, who passed Tumsa Gitashi, sat in our de Gorda, the Surabu. Mertevis Susanes, Ipiro, Nevis, Mimar, Shuriche, probably a tasty, Tsarmogit, Kent, Bravo, Ukanon, Incarnatias, Romevitz, Missich, Puis, Sahelos, Noshia, Shek, Astetipiro, Nebiro, Tasitos, Miss Arsits. Kirvetevis <laughs> 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 <laugh
წერილი ადასტურებს და მიუხედავად იმისა, რომ შენს არსებობას აღიარებენ ტრანსცენდენტულ მეცნიერებაში თავიანთი ცოდნის სიღრმით ცნობილი სახელგანთქმული ავტორიტეტები, რომლებიც ღვთაებრივ თვისებებს ფლობენ. ამიტომ ერთი უკიდურესად სულები ადამიანები კაცთა შორის უმდაბლესნი შენ სტარი სპეკულაციური მოაზრებები და აშკარა ათეისტები როგორც უკვე ითქვა არასოდეს ენტოპიან ღმერთების პრინციპებს პიროვნების ლოტოსის ტეპებს წმინდა წერილთა და ავტორიტეტულ ჩევართან მიუხედავად ანუ ეს უკანასკნელი კლასია სურამ თავა აშრით ამ აის ესეთი ადამიანები გახლავთ რომლებსაც შეუძლია ვედები შეისწავლონ მათ შორის დაგავაკიდაც but he can't accept the conclusion of the video so he's dead he's studying you know he's reading but he can't accept the conclusion მაგრამ მათ არ შეუძლია ვედების დასკვნების მიღება კი სწავლობენ კითხულობენ Krishna is overbull al Arjuna says here right 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 in the first verse Dharma Kshetra Kurukshetra they are there in Kurukshetra Krishna is speaking to Arjuna va pirveli segi lexitan Dharma Kshetra Kurukshetra dan chance ro mai Kurukshetra svelze impopebian da etva is verti Arjuna sesaupeba quant is it on this stand right but that's a good idea ra and Sri Bhagavan Uvacha, it's there in every verse, the Supreme Personality of God is speaking. So these people, they read the Bhagavad Gita, they study the Bhagavad Gita, but they try to prove that there is no Krishna. They say this factor of the Sahik it Hulopen and Bagavad Gita, Salopen, Magram, Stilopen, Dan, Kitson, Ron Krishna, Arasebos. Krishna says, Become my devotee, surrender unto me. Krishna will live a cartridge and be a good moment. And they try to prove that no, it's not to Krishna that you should surrender. The Bagram is in Stilopen, Dan, Kitson, Ron, Mother Krishna, Skier on the man. Is very cool. Actually, most of the commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita that you may find in any library, they follow this principle. They read the Bhagavad Gita, they speculate, you know, they have some, you know, interesting idea and they write it. But it's not what the Bhagavad Gita says, it's their own idea. That's why Prabhupada had to write the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Because, you know, before I wrote this book, it was not available. So there was Bhagavad Gita according to such and such, Bhagavad Gita according to such and such. Everyone had a different opinion. Uh, but no one was explaining the way it is. <laughs> ფაქტიურად არსებობდა ბაგავად გიტა როგორც ამას და ესა და ეს პიროვნება ხსნის ან როგორც ესა და ეს პიროვნება ხსნის მაგრამ არც ერთი მათგანი თავად ბაგავად გიტას განმარტებას არ იძლეოდა yeah, so now we have the bagavad gita as it is so we can study and understand it და ამჟამად კი გვაქვს უკვე ბაგავად გიტა როგორც ასეთი როგორც ის და რასაც ის წარმოადგენს სინატურაში და შეგვიძლია ის შევისწავლოთ 
And so we don't need to be, you know, misled by this time, these people. <laughs> Okay, so your your uh, home home task <laughs> for the week is to read again the whole purport at home. Then you can remember, you know, what we discussed today. I remember, if you don't have the Bhagavad Gita, you can read on the website, vedabase.io. Yeah, so this is a seven chapter, verse 15. Okay, if there is any last question, any uh, addition here, uh, otherwise we can finish, and you can take Prasad. <laughs> today, today was a little long because the, the verse, the purport was very long. Okay. Uh, there is a question. Yes, yes. I worry and mood heavy, Dukshritebi, Dukshritebis, dear Naratama, so Chemisha. Naratamashi are after a little, Utrasia Tassi, Adamianta, Sahelba, Arsevo, Sarada, Egras Nishnas, and we're going. Ah, Bariskinda. The question is concerning this four hundred thousand. Types of uh, human beings mm -hmm. uh, 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 that were mentioned uh, when explaining the Naratama type of uh, yes. Yes. So, so can you elaborate uh, a little bit? Who are those? Uh, uh, yes. So the Vedas explained that there are eight million four hundred thousand species. But this is not only in this planet, you know, the whole universe. And, and so, uh, for, and then amongst these 8,400,000, there are 400,000 species of intelligent life. So all the different species of human beings in other planets. Some more intelligent than us, some others, you know, a little less intelligent, but you know, all like intelligent species of life. So the Vedas explain that there are 14 levels of planetary systems. Each level is composed by you know, millions and millions of planets. And so, you know, the, the astronomers, they are trying to, you know, to find you know, other planets that can sustain life. But the Vedas explain that actually this is very common, and including intelligent life is very common, it's all over the universe. So because our instruments are not so, you know, advanced, 
we can detect you know planets around you know distant stars but we can't really you know look inside and see you know what people are doing there da ibis gamo rom chuen shezguduli aqmis chueni aqmis unarebi shezguduliya chuen ki shegvizliya is garqolzilat davinakhot tu miqvtet rom arsebobs sva planetebi da magram arts zalvits mat shi chakhedva da ibis danakhva tu rogor mimdinareobs matze tsoreba and then people just speculate oh maybe this planet has life maybe that other head you know this looks like art you know or not but you know no one has proof you know that there is intelligent life anywhere else but the Vedas explain that not only there is intelligent life in other planets, but it's actually you know, quite calm over the universe. And even gives the number you know, 400,000 different species of intelligent Life. And approximately half of them are they are more advanced than us. And they the Vedas even give you know explanations of some of these descriptions of some of these species. Thank you for your answer and for your lecture also. Chaitanya Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, so thank you very much for your patience. <laughs> I hope, I hope now you can have some nice prasad. <laughs> and after that, some nice kirtan. And in this way, then you can enjoy life. <laughs> so, Hare Krishna. Hare Hare Krishna. 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 Hare